Yemen is embroiled in a complicated uh, civil war uh, domestically that also has a, a regional angle. Um, so in Yemen, what you had was a, an initial success story of a post-Arab Spring transition, where Yemenis came together and had an agreement to transition from um, this uh, from Ali Abdullah Saleh's rule. Uh, 33 years in power, and he stepped down as president and uh, handed authority to his vice president, Abdul Rabbul Mansur Hadi. And there was an agreement to have a national dialogue process in the country. But this transition was overtaken uh, by a number of problems, elite infighting, corruption, and the failure of the national dialogue to deal with some pivotal issues in the country. Um, and then what happened was this led to an internal power struggle and violence uh, domestically. Essentially what happened was a, a small group um, uh, uh, that started as a Zaidi revivalist movement, and, and Zaidis are a branch of Shia Islam that are different from the Twelve or Shia that you have in, in Iran, for example. Um, this group had been traditionally marginalized in the past and took advantage of a failing transition to frame itself as an uncorrupted outsider and essentially struck an alliance with uh, the former president, Ali Abdullah Saleh, and his group, a tacit alliance against common domestic enemies in this complex domestic power struggle. And um, they came into to the capital um, and essentially politically overstretched and triggered a violent civil war um, inside of Yemen. But this um, power shift inside of Yemen occurred at a time when um, Saudi Arabia, uh, Yemen's northern neighbor uh, was concerned with uh, Iranian expansion uh, in the region and encirclement. They view the Houthis as Iranian uh, proxies in this case. And um, when the Houthis uh, took over the, the capital and then expanded and moved south in pursuit of um, the government of Abdul Rabbo Mansur Hadi, uh, the Saudis and a coalition of nine other mostly Sunni Arab states intervened in March of last year. And so what started as a very complex uh, Yemeni civil war and power struggle has now been uh, overlaid uh, by a more intractable uh, regional conflict uh, between uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran. So since March of last year, there has been a um, very intense uh, war inside of Yemen that has pulled in regional actors, particularly Saudi Arabia and their main coalition partner, um, the United Arab Emirates. And so we've seen a year of combat that is essentially, um, it's devastated the country's uh, infrastructure. It has widened uh, Yemeni uh, political, uh, regional and confessional divides and made uh, the prospects for peace uh, much more complicated. Um, there is a, a UN negotiation process that is ongoing, uh, but unfortunately until now it has not succeeded in bringing the sides together um, for a ceasefire agreement. So the two sides are still quite far apart on substance at this point. And again, there is a military stalemate effectively on the ground, but neither side is exhausted at this point or really been willing until now to make the type of significant compromises necessary to end this conflict.